In your lesson 8 notes using zeros of a polynomial function, you should have already had a couple minutes ahead of time um, to work on the group warm-up letters um, 1A and 1B. Um, both of these go along with the lesson 7 notes that we um, talked about previously. So if you haven't already had a chance to work on the group warm-ups 1A and 1B, make sure you take that time to do so now so you may want to pause this video so that you have a chance to work on these. Um, if so, if you have answers for both of them, then just continue watching because we're going to go through the answers to both 1A and 1B right now. In letter 1A, they're asking you guys to factor this cubic function given that x is equal to 0. So the first thing we should have done, or that we should do, is we should take x equals 1 as a 0 and find its factor. So before it was x equals 1 as a 0, we had x plus, or I'm sorry, x minus 1 equals 0 first. Since we had x minus 1 equals 0 first, the x minus 1 part is what we call our first factor. And we now take that first factor, x minus 1, and we use it to divide into our original cubic function. A couple things about our cubic function. We want to fi um, first figure out or first look for our cubic function to be in standard form, which it is. We have our x cubed, x squared, x to the first power, and then no x. So we have everything in descending order, so it's in standard form. The next piece we want to make sure is that every value is in fact represented. So the cube is represented, the square is represented, the x to the first power is represented, and so is x to the zero power. So in this case, now that we have everything in standard form and all my values are represented, I can take my cubic function and plug it into my long division box. Now from this point forward, I can just go through and simplify or at long, long divide and get my other factors. 4x cubed is on my inside um, leading x value. x is on the outside is my leading x value. Of these two, I'm missing a 4 out here as well as an x squared. So my first term up top is going to be 4x squared since when 4x squared times x gives you the same thing as your leading x value on the inside. 4x squared now times my second outside term gives me negative 4x squared. Subtract all my terms. My terms now have double negatives. When they're double negatives, um, I can go through and now subtract. So 4x cubed minus 4x cubed cancels out and gives me 0. Negative 4x squared plus 4x squared also cancels out and gives me 0. Since I have two terms on the outside, I have to bring down both uh, two terms that are left over on the inside, and I get negative x plus 9. My leading x on the outside, my leading negative 9x on the inside, what's missing between these two is the negative 9. So the negative 9 goes up top. Negative 9 times x now gives me negative 9x. Negative 9 times positive 1 gives me a plus 9. And when I subtract, my double negatives turn to positive. I get 0 here and 0 there. So I have no remainder left over. So my factors are going to be the two pieces of information that I got. One, when I was dividing, and two, what I got as my answer. So my two factors I get here are 4x squared minus 9 and x minus 1. I still need to factor this down a little bit more because I can. I have a difference of perfect uh, squares here. My 4 is a perfect square, x squared is a perfect square, and 9 is a, a perfect square. x minus 1 stays. And when I factor this quadratic here, I get 2x minus 3 and 2x plus 3. So I have three factors for my answer for number 1a. Moving on to number 1b, the directions here are a little bit different. We still have the same cubic function as we did in example 1, and we still have the same x equals 1, 0. 
that was given to us in example one, but the directions are asking us now to find the other zeros in the function. Luckily, to find this, we would have to long divide my, my factor of x um, plus, I'm sorry, x minus one into my cubic function, but we already did that in 1a. So at this point, I can just take my factors as that were my answers for 1a, take the same factors that I had, and set everything now equal to zero to find the other zeros of this function. So if I set this guy equal to zero, I know x is going to be equal to one. This should match the fact that x equals one was given in the original directions, which it was. If I set this guy um, equal to zero, I get x is equal to positive three halves. If I set this guy equal to zero, I get negative three halves. So those are my three zeros of this cubic function for the group warm-up.